A warm greeting. Today is Thursday, October 17, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it is 7 p.m. local time in the Caribbean, where we are closely monitoring two low-pressure systems. The first, Invest 95, is located to the northeast of Nicaragua and Honduras and could develop into a tropical depression or weak tropical storm before making landfall on the Yucatan Peninsula and Belize between tomorrow night, Friday, or Saturday morning. It is important for residents of the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, northern Guatemala, and northern Honduras to stay alert to the evolution of this disturbance, as it promises to bring significant rainfall and a high risk of flooding. In addition, we are still monitoring Invest 94, which, although it has lost some chances of cyclonic development over the past few days, will bring some rain to areas between Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and the northern Lesser Antilles. Over the weekend, it could approach parts of the Turks and Caicos Islands, the southern Bahamas, Haiti, or eastern Cuba. According to the latest tropical outlook from the National Hurricane Center, the chances of cyclonic development for Invest 95 have increased to 30%, meaning this system has a chance of developing cyclonically over the next 48 hours before moving over parts of northern Central America and the Yucatan Peninsula. In fact, I believe that by 8 p.m., the chances of cyclonic development will increase to perhaps 40 or 50%, while for Invest 94, the chances have decreased to 30% as it moves west-northwest and is projected to pass 100 to 200 miles north-northeast of the Lesser Antilles Puerto Rico, and just north of the Dominican Republic. Therefore, increased precipitation is expected from Friday to Saturday morning for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, and eventually, from Saturday night into Sunday for parts of northern Dominican Republic, Turks, and Caicos Islands, and early next week for parts of northern Haiti and eastern Cuba. Let's take a look at the latest projected path of Invest 94. You can see that it should generally maintain this northwestward movement, staying north of the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic. But between Sunday and Monday, it should pass over parts of the Turks and Caicos Islands and eastern Cuba or northern Haiti. Although it's certainly good news that this disturbance has not achieved significant cyclonic development, a Hurricane Hunter aircraft investigated the system this afternoon and found that it does not have a defined circulation. So, it's very likely that at 8 p.m., the chances of cyclonic development will decrease again. Nevertheless, it will still bring some rain to the Lesser and Greater Antilles. You can also see that the expected rainfall totals for parts of the northern Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico have decreased dramatically today. We now anticipate between 1 to 2 inches of rain from Friday to Saturday for these areas, which should not cause major inconveniences. Also, take a look at the projection of the European model which suggests that the heaviest rain will also stay north of the Dominican Republic. However, for the Turks and Caicos Islands and the southern Bahamas, between 75 to 100 millimeters of rain is expected, especially between Saturday and Sunday. By Sunday and Monday, the disturbance is projected to move slightly southwest, potentially bringing increased rainfall to eastern Cuba, with totals between 60 to 100 millimeters. So, overall, today continues to bring good news regarding Invest 94, as cyclonic development chances continue to decrease, and for the moment, it does not pose a threat to the Caribbean, except for some showers that may affect these areas over the weekend. However, the outlook is a bit different for Invest 95, as this afternoon we've seen that it has become a bit more active in terms of thunderstorms, and it seems that the low-pressure system has become more defined this afternoon. This is precisely why the National Hurricane Center designated this area as Invest 95. It should generally maintain a path eventually reaching Belize or Quintana Roo on the Yucatan Peninsula in about 48 hours, meaning by Saturday afternoon or night. Some models project that it could arrive as a tropical depression or a weak tropical storm. We can see this in the intensity projections, where the models generally agree that it should develop over the next 48 hours. That's why I think the National Hurricane Center will increase the chances of development by 8 p.m., so, we will be paying close attention to the next tropical outlook. Although this disturbance doesn't have enough time to strengthen significantly, it does promise to bring heavy rainfall to parts of northern Honduras, where 100 to 200 millimeters of rain could accumulate over the next 48 hours. Also, further north, including Belize, Quintana Roo, Campeche, and Yucatan, heavy rainfall is expected between Saturday and Sunday, with models projecting between 100 and 200 millimeters of accumulated rain. So, if you live in these areas and in flood-prone regions, I ask that you stay tuned to weather forecasts. In addition to the rain, tropical storm force wind gusts are also expected to affect the Yucatan Peninsula and Belize. For example, the GFS model estimates wind gusts exceeding 75 km per hour, with the strongest winds expected to be felt Friday night and Saturday. 
please take precautions in light of potential windy conditions this weekend. Finally, let's look at the latest runs of the global models. Here we have the GFS model. You can see that in about 24 hours, it possibly has a tropical depression forming just east of the Yucatan Peninsula related to Invest 95, while keeping Invest 94 fairly weak as it passes near and north of Puerto Rico. Then, on Saturday afternoon and evening, the GFS model strengthens Invest 95, potentially into Tropical Storm Nadine. This is why it's important for residents of this area to stay alert to the 8 p.m. tropical outlook today. By Sunday, the system moves southwest over parts of Tabasco and southern Veracruz. Now, looking at the European model, it also strengthens the low-pressure system of Invest 95 just before reaching Belize or the Yucatan Peninsula and keeps Invest 94 as a strong tropical wave as it moves north of the Dominican Republic. Like the GFS model, the European model projects that Invest 95 could arrive as a tropical depression or tropical storm by Saturday. By Sunday, the circulation moves over parts of Tabasco and southern Veracruz, while Invest 94 moves over the Turks and Caicos Islands and eastern Cuba by Sunday morning and afternoon. The German model also agrees that Invest 95 could arrive as a tropical depression or tropical storm in southern Quintana Roo or northern Belize by Saturday afternoon, and it does not develop Invest 94. We see the same in the UK model projection, which possibly has a tropical depression or tropical storm entering Belize by Saturday afternoon and does not develop Invest 94 as it crosses north of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. In fact, the development chances for Invest 94 are so low that none of the GFS model ensemble members develop a tropical depression. While the outlook is different for Invest 95, as the majority of ensemble members develop at least a tropical depression before moving over Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula, the European model ensemble also agrees that it could arrive as a tropical depression. This is the main reason I believe the development chances will increase in tonight's 8 p.m. outlook, while I think the chances for Invest 94 will decrease again. However, I believe they will leave 10 to 20% development chances, as many European model members project that it could intensify a bit when it crosses the Turks and Caicos Islands and eastern Cuba. Here at Hurricane Info, I will continue to closely monitor the evolution of both disturbances, particularly in Vest 95, which poses the greatest threat to land. For residents of the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, and northern Guatemala, I invite you to stay tuned to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications when I post new videos. With that, I'll say goodbye. Tomorrow, I'll record a new video to update this forecast. Goodbye for now.